All right, next on this lovely list. We first had my curve pop up, and then we had, you know, people playing Mortal Kombat with one another, and two lost, and one guy has decided to be a nasty, going, eh, 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 I won, you guys stink. Big meanie head. All right, we'll see what on earth decides to pop up next. Okay, we'll try that one more time without, you know, throwing the whole deck in my face. Yeah, I do it sometime, and you know, not take my eye out. Not yet. There we go. That one. Okay. Next up, we have the little page of cups. So, first off, page of cups. Let's take a look at two things that we see, and two two feelings that we get. Okay, now it's starting to jump. Okay, first, first thing I see is a, a childlike figure in a old time. To me, honestly, it looks like a a really weird robe and a dress. And I also see a fish. In that cup, something's fishy, and he's covered in fishes. So, the feelings I'm getting is very imaginative, youthful imagination, and very cupcake like, like, aww. But, so, Page of Cups, what on earth is this little? Nasty mean. Well, usually all pages are a messenger of some sort of news or a hair bringer of one of the elements. So, having it be of cups, you have a figure or a messenger or a new love interest come in and potentially be someone who. You just can't think like, oh, he's adorable. Or, or, this camera represents somebody who is very, he's younger than you, like a child age, and they're very emotional, or they're very imaginative. Oh. Now, when it comes to, like, when it comes to, like, specific parts of, the, of like, what you're looking into, when it comes to Earth, or financials or health, you may be hearing news of something that's regarding mental health or regarding something regarding emotional health and it's being a sweet and innocent and is a very youthful and is a new kind of an approach to it. You might be getting a call back from an employer that's brand new or you might be getting an interest in a field that you never thought you'd get in and you're getting really emotionally attached to it in a way. And also you may have an urge to use your creativity and have something come out of your emotions without a fish in the cup. Regarding regarding communication and interactions with others and air, wind, you might be having someone brand new in your circle that or that you were introduced to. Be very youthful with their communications regarding love. They may be, you know, one of those type that call you that cause you every sweet name in the book and trying to get you off your woozies. This person may also call you very dreamy things. Like, I, I have no idea. Like, oh, oh, King Arthur or Lady of the Lake. I got nothing. But just saying, like, really kind of like really weird magical pet names. Now for, as is your challenge or an obstacle, you may be having to be putting yourself in this cupcake youthful way, or you may be put being challenged by a very youthful figure who is telling you to use your imagination and actually use it and not just, you know, be all, I don't know how to imagine it. Well, you're not, you're not trying hard enough. Maybe you should try a little bit harder. Maybe you never know what'll come out of it. And as for regarding your emotions and love life or anything regarding that, you may be actually be getting a message from like a friend of yours 
or someone who, let's just say back in the schoolyard, back when there was like that cheesy stuff with like a young guy, like a young girl, and the young guy actually goes over to the young girl and does all the, oh, I like you and I think you're pretty, and that youthful thing happens. That's, that's going to be the same for this. As for spiritual empowerment and along that lines, you're probably best going to be having the advice of remember that it's always better to have the child within because the beauty of the world around you never leaves you. It's always there waiting to be seen. And sometimes the best way and the only way to see it is to see it as the eyes of a child and to let your creativity go out. Now, using this card magically, of course, you know, if you'd like, you can actually have this card represent somebody that you're trying to bring towards you, and you're trying to move, trying to get them to actually open up and be a little bit cupcake-like, because, you know, I have a little fish there, be like, hey, hey, yes, hey, 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 you, hey, you, um, girl-looking thing, hey, listen, I got, I got some news to tell you. You're not going to believe who likes you. Yep, it's that page of wands. Mm -hmm. He's kind of got the heart stick for you. See, it could be like that. Messenger telling another person who's also a page in this youthful combination about a love possibility. It could also represent an overall theme and a standing to be all like, oh, look at this youthfulness come through. But also, if you have someone I'm trying to, you know, trying to trying to like swindle your love affair you can actually have this page of cups go in reverse like that and then you can actually have this represent the other person and then you can cancel out their plots to actually like taint this to have them be tainted and not interact with your love interest and keep their handsome selves and trust me I know how that is so that was the page of cups I'll see you on the next piece of cardstock that comes out of this magical deck.